Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a pretty impromptu video. Now, um, I really had absolutely no intention of filming this, but then I thought, what have I learned over the last couple of weeks? And well, what I've learned is that people love unboxing videos, specifically brewing and beer unboxing videos. So I've ordered a load of stuff off Amazon to aid in my kind of brewing quest and thought it'd be cool just to give it a quick unboxing on camera now. So um, I think these are all my Amazon packages and they are all brewing related. Um, I'm a bit worried now I've taken the labels off because I was always checking for my name so I'm pretty sure these are all mine um, but if I accidentally open up one of my birthday presents from my other half then you'll find me in trouble on camera. Um, but hey, let's see how this goes. So where to start? Well uh, this is the one I'm kind of a bit concerned about because I don't really know what it is from mine but um, let's have a sneak peek and try not to ruin any surprises if it's not immediately obvious. Ah, okay. Well the good news is this package isn't going to get me in trouble in that respect. Um, but well, was it necessary? Was it really? I'm sure you could have found a smaller packet for this. And this is some yeast. I'm not going to show you what that is yet because it's kind of a spoiler for stuff to come. So I'm just going to pop that down on the table um, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Throw that out of the way. Uh, next small packet. I'm not sure what that sign means on the back. Maybe it means something to someone else. It doesn't mean batteries, but it seems to mean some kind of warning. So I'm not sure. Let's open this up. Da, 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 da. So much packaging. And this is. Aha! Brew safe. Uh, no rinse sanitizer. If you saw my video, I kind of. Went a bit wrong with the sanitizer, weighed made too much, and it was all the stuff you have to rinse off. Apparently, this is loads easier to use, and well, you don't need as much, and you don't have to rinse it. So, win win on that front, right? Onto this one. In the packaging. Uh -huh. Now then, two hose pipes, um, which I agree seems a little bit mental, but hear me out. Um, I've got one of the uh, coil chillers that you kind of have got a hose pipe attachment at each end, and I basically didn't want to use dirty hose pipe from the garden, so um, I bought a couple of small lengths of hose pipes with the right, well hopefully the right attachments already connected, um, so I can use it indoors, which brings us on to this little guy. And this, allegedly, will allow me to uh, connect those hoses to my indoor tap, so I don't have to risk taking the beer outside and risking further infection for that sort of thing. So in theory I can just do a contained closed loop unit, so in theory I can do a contained closed loop unit from the, uh, from the tap on the sink, in through the coil, out the coil, into the other hose pipe and down the drain without making too much mess. So that will be interesting. And then finally, in here is a whole lot of beer line. Um, that's literally just, just beer line. Um, I didn't think this through. I should probably have got some beer line cleaner to clean this out with, but I'm guessing sanitizer might work, but I'll do a bit of research to be sure. I'm just seeing the diameter on this now. I'm a bit worried that I'm not gonna be able to do exactly what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to be able to siphon uh, from the tap on one of my brewing buckets into the other one uh, using this, uh, but maybe we'll just have to siphon the old fashioned way. But anyway, beer line, and this might come in useful for another toy that's coming soon, which will inevitably probably be the next unboxing video. Do excuse me, I'm a bit distracted. A heron just flew past my window. Um, two herons, three herons, or pterodactyls. I wish I could get photo evidence, but my camera that I have a big lens for is what I'm talking to you on now, and wow. That's crazy. Anyway, 
They're actually terrifyingly large birds. Um, right, let's move this out of the way. So yeah, as I said, I got too distracted there and I can't remember what I actually said, but uh, that line, that beer line may also come in useful for the thing that will be as my next unboxing video that's a bit of a surprise, hopefully arriving tomorrow, but I don't think the video will be tomorrow. Oh, in fact, will there even be an unboxing video? Well, something's gonna happen with that. You stay tuned. Right, uh, let's move this to the side. And then we have this. Uh, why is it not in Amazon packaging? Very good question. It wasn't delivered by Amazon either. Ordered it all at the same time, all for next day delivery. And this arrived at 7.30 a.m. with uh, DPD, Parcel Force, I can't remember, somebody. Um, and the other stuff arrived at 5.30 at night. Um, so we know who's winning, but you know, most of it's not much good without the rest. So uh, we're gonna need the knife for this one. This knife is absolutely glued up to hell with all the box I haven't done recently. So let's get that washed, but for now, Alright. In here, there is another label with my name on it, so let's just hide that. And there is a load of packaging. We don't need more packaging. One box. More packaging. A second box which makes quite a lot of noise. Right, let's get this out of shot because the camera just likes to focus on big white boxes when they're on here. We're back. Right, let's crack into these. They are both the same. There's two units here. And I'll be honest, I... Well, they'll be a bit bigger. Right, they'll be a bit bigger. Um, important to look at the specifications on what you are buying, people, because otherwise you end up like, a... oh no, okay. I think it's just a bit of a perception issue with the, uh, the cardboard, because in here lies, a dummy John. Not sure why the box was so noisy, given that there's nothing else in there. Uh, and in this one, John is no surprise, but in this one we also have two airlocks, and for reasons I can't quite work out, four rubber bungs. Um, oh, I do know why. One is for the airlock, and one is for just corking afterwards. I mean, that one's split already, which is not ideal. But anyway, um, yeah, nice little. Couple of those, and what are these for? I hear you ask, you've already bought a huge amount of brewing equipment. Yes, but I fancied going a bit old school. I make some mead. Um, I think that'd be a nice kind of side project. It's meant to be a bit easier, it takes a bit longer though, so this is kind of a put in and then forget about it for six weeks or so. Um, I'm hoping to get that done in the next week. Um, we've got a busy week at the minute, unfortunately, otherwise I'll be going out and doing this straight away. But anyway, I've got all the stuff now, so when I do have a minute to get it all together, I can go and do it, including the extra airlocks and which look filthy. They need to go clean. Um, and that sort of thing. But yeah, new brewing equipment. That is it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already subscribed, if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.